Hello, and welcome back to Mojave. Today, we're going to be discussing the settings available for Mojave in our web-based configurator app, Narwhal. Each setting available allows you to customize Mojave in a whole new way. And today, we're going to be diving into each available setting. I'm excited to go over this with you, so let's get started. If you're following along, the first thing we will want to do is head to Narwhal. You can find the link down below. There's a new Select Module window in Narwhal. It should default to Mojave, but if you're looking to update settings on Nautilus, click the drop-down menu and change the module you are working with. Everything else outside of the new Mojave settings is the exact same. Choose your settings you want, then click the Download button. Once you have a new options.json file, place your Mojave USB drive into your computer and replace the existing options file on the drive with the new one. Eject the drive from the computer, then place it back in Mojave. Mojave will automatically read the new settings, update, and signal its completion with a white LED flash. Now that we know how to update our settings, let's take a look at what Narwhal offers Mojave. The first setting is buffer size, which allows you to choose the length of your buffer inside of Mojave. You can think of the buffer as sort of like a tape looper, where you are deciding the length of the tape uh, for how much you want to be able to record it at any given time and uh, how long that audio on that tape will stay before it makes its full loop and gets erased and re-recorded. Uh, the default setting is 16 beats, which you can hear here. I uh, have Mojave just uh, accepting a simple arpeggio from chord. And if I go back in time with zone, you'll hear I have 16 beats worth of audio that I can go back. If I line it up just right at noon, uh, with my pendulum uh, arpeggio, I have my wet signal and my dry signal uh, kind of dancing opposite of each other. However, if we were to, say, change the setting to two bars or two beats, sorry, um, it's going to be a lot shorter audio that we're working with. So it's just behind the dry signal there. And uh, just next to buffer size is fixed buffer time. Uh, if you choose the fixed buffer option in buffer size, uh, you'll have access to this setting as well. And it lets you choose how many seconds exactly you want your buffer size to be. Anywhere from one second all the way up to two and a half minutes. In the top right corner, we have whirl behavior, which changes how whirl affects each grain. As we know, whirl currently just adjusts the stereospatialization of the grains, which we can give a listen right now. As I turn up the world knob, you'll hear the grains uh, push out in the stereo field. However, if we use Narwhal, we can actually either swap out or include random reversed grains as well. I'm gonna include them right now for this example. And now you can hear the reverse grains included as well. Next up, we have mix curve which adjusts the shape of our mix knob uh, in the levels between the dry and the wet signal. The default setting is going to be constant power, and we can switch it to a linear curve uh, if we're looking for something a little more consistent across the knob. Uh, right now we're listening to constant power, the center point on the mix knob. It's going to be a little hotter than the linear option. So let's give it a listen and, and hear the difference. You'll notice that the signal overall got a little bit quieter with the linear option. We'll switch it back so we can hear that change again. And now it's a little bit louder with constant power. The next two settings affect Mojave's end of chain reverb, which is found on the gust knob. Reverb size will change the length of our reverb tail. The default settings at 0.7 on Narwhal. You could bring it down all the way to the bottom for a short snappy reverb, or bring it all the way up for a longer, more smeary, washy type of reverb, which I'm gonna showcase right now. So let's change the length of our reverb here. And you'll notice that the reverb is filling out the sound a little bit more. To the right of reverb size is going to be reverb dampening, which adjusts the amount of low pass filtering happening on the reverb tail. It's uh, pretty low on uh, the default setting. I believe it's at 0.1. Uh, we're going to bring it up to hear the difference on the longer reverb tail here by bringing it up to 0.7. Oh, let me flip that. There we go. 
There you go. And you can hear that filtering happening. It kind of pulls the reverb back in the mix a little bit. Dune Behavior selects the output signal from Mojave's Dune output. The default setting is a morphing CV that is determined by a handful of knobs on the front panel. Let's give that a listen by patching our output to the filter in our synth voice. You'll notice how whirl here is the rate for our CV ramp. If you want to change the direction randomly, you can turn up drift. And if you want to change the uh, ramp from smooth to stepped, you can turn up distribute and it'll increase the amount of steps that are happening along the ramp. However, in Narwhal, you can change the output from a CV signal to a gate signal generated by the grains, which I will do now. I'm going to patch our envelope back in. We're going to take out the trigger and I'm going to swap my setting. Now let's patch our granular gates into our envelope. So now each time a grain is generated, a gate signal is being outputted by Doom, which is triggering Cascade, our envelope generator, which is shaping our prism filter. Reset clock in free mode is a subtle setting, but I hope that this example that I show you will better explain what it's doing. Uh, the default setting uh, in Narwhal is on. Uh, and basically what that means is that if you are in the free running clock mode on Mojave, both your clock input as well as your grain rate knob will generate grains. So let's give that a listen. Oh, probably should turn up the grains. So you hear those two hits coming from both grain generation inputs, the rate as well as the clock input. I'm going to now turn that setting off and now you hear just the grains being generated from the rate control. And you might want to use this setting if you are wanting to remove that grain generation from the clock input. However, you are still wanting to quantize your distribute, your drift, uh, your structure to uh, a clock pulse, basically, while having still a free running smooth grain generation. Um, very subtle setting. However, it can be very useful uh, in specific use cases when you are trying to manipulate your grains in a clocked manner while having sort of like uh, esoteric, smooth changing grain generation. Uh, the following setting, dotted notes in external clock mode, is uh, similar to the one previous. However, it only affects the external clock running mode. Uh, what it does is it either adds or removes the dotted notes on the rate multiply division uh, range. Uh, you can hear right now I have a dotted eighth note running for my grains. And if I were to turn this default setting, which is on to off, you hear the dotted eighth disappear. And now it's just uh, defaulting to hitting every clock pulse. The last three settings for Mojave and Narwhal are going to be quantization settings for three of the four sky modes on Mojave. Each sky mode sets a quantization for the speed as well as the structure knob. The default settings for dawn mode are major scale, for day mode, minor scale, and for dusk mode, chromatic scale. What I'm going to do right now is change all three of those in a single swoop and we will run through and hear the difference. So I just changed Dawn mode to major pentatonic scale. You can actually see a full list of available scales right now on the screen. Uh, for the day mode, I decided to switch it to harmonic minor instead of the minor scale. And for dusk mode, I'm running octaves only, which will only pitch the grains up and down one octave or up and down two octaves, depending on where your structure position is uh, and your speed knob is. 
so you can hear it pitching up and down octaves only. I like to use this setting because it's a little more handy when you're using more melodically complex audio uh, sent through Mojave. If you're wanting to change your settings back to the defaults without going back to the computer and downloading a new options file, you can quickly remove the USB drive from your Mojave, hold the clock mode button, then press the sky mode button. Mojave will wipe your current settings and replace them with the defaults. And those are the current available settings for Mojave in Narwhal. I hope you learned something new about what your Mojave can do for you uh, using one of these settings, and I hope you take full advantage of it. Uh, it really opens up what our uh, live granular processor can do.